surrounded by ridges at 17,000 feet above sea level. A group of heavily armed infiltrators were perched atop the ledges. Ledges with steep 80 degree near vertical inclines and razor sharp edges on either side. Recapturing point 4875 was crucial because sitting here, the infiltrators could dominate the road to Leh and also control access to the Mushko Valley. Given their vantage position, they could easily inflict heavy casualties on Indian troops as they could watch each and every move made by the Indian Army. Captain Vikram Batra of 13 Jammu and Kashmir Rifles volunteered to carry out the mission of wresting back point 4875 from the intruders. Earlier on 19 June 1999, Captain Batra and his fellow fighters had snatched point 5140, a strategic peak in the Kargil sector from right under the enemy's nose. On the 19th of June 1999, uh, both the companies Bravo and Delta led the assault for the capture of point 5140. Even though terrain was extremely difficult, the gradient was uh, very, very steep, uh, Vikram Bata led from the front. Hey, companies, success in the world, this is the guys are so high. He was always a go-getter, a volunteer, would like to always volunteer for carrying out any ambushes, raids. He was always a big go-getter. For over 36 hours, Lieutenant Naveen and his men were engaged in a fierce gun battle with the militants. Though we had reached the top, the enemy had a bunker which was constructed right on the mouth of this ledge. If we have to capture 475, the only way is to launch frontally along that ledge, which was suicidal actually. Captain Naveen, uh, who was uh, in, in, the, in the forwardmost area, he got injured. The enemy had thrown a grenade and uh, it fell on his leg and his leg was very badly damaged. At this time, on the morning of 7th of July, Vikram Matra was tasked to lead a patrol to this area and see that how we can circumvent and capture the entire 4875. Captain Vikram Batra and his men immediately took charge and evacuated Lieutenant Naveen. The enemy was trying his psychological warfare on us. Captain Vikram Batra carried on from where Lieutenant Naveen had left, raining bullets at the enemy. The enemy taunted Captain Batra, saying that if India handed over Bollywood actress Madhuri Dixit, they would leave the place forever. To this, Captain Batra gave a fitting reply. In the heat of the battle, Captain Vikram Batra decided to surprise the enemy and do the impossible. Now, when he went to that area, apparently, as, uh, now I can visualize, uh, he realized that there was simply just no way, you know, that there was no way we could uh, circumvent this ledge. An impulsive, you know, go-getter, impulsive man that he was, he immediately assaulted. Through that only approach to that, uh, area which was being dominated by the enemy Sangar. He single-handedly killed five infiltrators, shooting at them from a point-blank range. However, he too sustained grave injuries in the attack. Unmindful of his injuries, he charged forward. And then, an artillery splinter pierced his waist and Captain Vikram Batra collapsed. That very moment, India lost one of its finest fighters. 
he didn't bother for his for his own life and made the supreme sacrifice and with vengeance the entire company launched an assault through that ledge through the foothold which vikram matra had given to us and captured the entire point 4875 On 26 January 2000, on the occasion of Republic Day, Captain Vikram Batra was posthumously awarded India's highest gallantry award, the Param Veer Chakra. Captain Vikram Batra's gallantry is now a part of the Indian Army's legends. They are the legends of courage, bravery and supreme sacrifice 